And now to one of our top stories, Reno Dola, a youth representative on the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry probing alleged killing of NSAS protesters by soldiers at the Lekki Tollgate last October, has stepped down from the panel. She made a disclosure on Friday in a piece titled, Let's Stay the Course of Justice. Partial wins are not enough. The activists who fought at the planned reopening of the Lekki Tollgate maintained that justice has not been served to victims of the Lekki shootings of October 20, 2020. Meanwhile, Plus TV Africa spoke with some residents of the area about the protest. I believe the youth can stand firm on their grounds, go for the protests, so that at least there will be justice for the people who lay down their life. Um, I do think the protest should hold because, I mean, we, the issues they're actually bringing up, I mean, there are people who actually fought for this uh, toll gate and you are thinking of bringing it back up again. The people who died, they haven't even caught the soldiers. They haven't caught those so-called um, hoodlums that shot those people. And you are bringing them back again. You are bringing opening toll gates back again. It's very, very wrong. I think uh, the timing is uh, is not nice. The timing is wrong, you know. Looking at what is going on, tension everywhere, uncertainties, economic, you know, breakdown, everything, hardship everywhere. Then on protests. On this hardship again, it will not be okay for Nigeria, as you know. We are just uh, coming out from uh, lockdown. We are going back to lockdown again. I think we should find a way of settling things. For me in person, I would say we should come out and speak. At the same time, I'm considering the market women, those who are sick, who are, will be going to the hospital, who will need medical attention and all of that. So if you block the road, if the road is being blocked, there's no way these persons can get um, that medical attention. So that's just my only... Um, worry about this protest but for me I think the protest is very very good and the youth should come out and speak up. Now our senior news editor Kaya De Ladende is on ground for us right now and will be telling us what exactly is happening at the Le Lekki Tollgate. Kaya De, what are you seeing right now? Yeah it's quite um, I must say using the right word it's quite tense here yeah? because we can see heavy presence of security agents, uh, specifically the men of uh, mobile police force, who are definitely on a mission to avert any form of uh, protest. Now, you will recall what the Commissioner of Police said. Uh, we thought it was going to be to avert a violent protest, but who knows what their definition of violent protest will be. And we've seen serious signs here to say that uh, any form of protest will not be welcomed tomorrow. But from the other side, we can see that um, the protesters, as we speak, are saying that they are going to come out tomorrow. They will not be intimidated by the presence of this uh, security agent. Uh, we even, I even encountered uh, while... Um, uh, when our vehicle was moving, we had one of the passengers who threw some foul words at the policeman to say that uh, you guys are just, uh, you know, like uh, you are just jogging off. Nothing will stop us from coming. And we saw the policeman responding that uh, you dare not come out. You know, I'm using the my words, but they use, you know, foul words in return. And this sounded like uh, most of a tense situation tomorrow. And we can also see uh, from the Resident Association of Landlords, we gathered that they re even re issued a communique to say that the gate at the Lekki Face one, very close to the toll gate, will be shut from 5 a.m., which means that there's not going to be movement in and out of the main gate, that people should find their way from the alternative routes. These are all signs that... Uh, um, there is a plan to stop the protest from happening, but as you see, we've not had any official statement from the protesters. You know, there is usually no person as a spokesperson or the leader of the protesters issuing this statement. But from all we've gathered on Twitter and all the social media, there are signs that uh, they haven't said they will be go back down on the protest. So that's the situation here. We can see heavy presence of policemen. They started gathering, which means they are going to spend the night on the road. And that's the situation as we speak. 
Kaede, stand by. We will continue to touch base with you. Let's bring in a security expert now, Roy Ohiedeve, for more perspective. Roy, it's good to see you. So, it is expected that two groups will be converging on the Lekki toll gate on Saturday. One of the groups, um, Dempapano Born You Well, and then the other groups, uh, the NSAS protesters. That's on the one hand. Now, uh, what do you make of all of this? Well, thank you very much for this opportunity. You know, we all recall the first five days of the first NSAS in the history of Nigeria. And that first five days was a glorious time to see the youths of Nigeria exhibit a lot of cohesiveness and the youths of Nigeria exhibited a lot of discipline in oneness. And they pro pro proposed all their grievances towards the government, towards the international community. And it was a great one until illegal and violent elements began to penetrate into the ranks and people of dangerous interest started to take advantage of the situation to cause action, uh, robberies, and other kinds of criminal activities. With these all truncated the purpose of the answer. Now, a lot of people came out with investigations, with news in the media that it was the government that brought out the criminal elements. We saw some of them in Abuja attacking the ENSAS people, and some people are saying it is also a component of the criminal elements in the youth in Nigeria that are attacking the, the um, faithful uh, protesters. So we are back to it again, and this is an opportunity for government. My own postulation for this situation is this. The government should allow the youth to express their fundamental human rights for grievances. They should expect them to come out peacefully and conduct themselves peacefully. There is the responsibility of government to make sure that they pick out elements, even the entire protesters that are coming out tomorrow. They should be ready to work with government to also eliminate the criminal activities of some of the people that will come up. And if we have this in the Lekki soldiers way, there are other alternative routes to use. If you are going from Lekki to Aja, from Victoria Island to Aja, there are other routes apart from passing through the toll gate. So we can use that toll gate for a very good opportunity for the governor to come out and meet with the youth and dialogue with them face to face. It's an opportunity for the, the panel that has been set up to come and give a briefing of how far they have gone and how much time they need to complete whatever panel instituted them, desires they are pursuing. And it's also an opportunity for the youth to still speak out to show that we are not criminals and we are not encouraging criminal elements okay. going about destroying okay. people's property. Roy, so let me come in here. Everybody playing out tomorrow. Let me come in here, Roy. Thank you so much. Kayade, if you listen to Roy, he said um, residents around that area should take alternative routes and boycott the toll gate. So I want to ask, what do you know about people living in Lekki? Are they nervous? Okay, to be very frank, what we see here as we speak, some parts of the, the aspects uh, or what you call the entrance to various uh, places at the toll gate, some have already been blocked by security agents, while some are left for vehicles to pass. That might be a prototype of what to expect tomorrow, that there will be movement and there will be some kind of uh, control about the area. The mission from the police is to actually avert protests, not necessarily to start collecting tolls. So, but the other side of the argument, which I fall into, is that even if there is going to be protests, people should not be stopped from moving. You know, those are some of the excesses we saw in the other time. Those people who don't believe in the protest should not be debarred from moving. So I would say that um, it is okay, let protests happen, let there be no form of violence, let there be no form of uh, 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 
things that can actually disturb the peace or constitute nuisance to those people who do not support the protest. All right. However, the protesters are even saying, oh, okay, can you hear me? Absolutely. I was going to so, butt in, but just, you, you need to wrap up now. The protesters are well, saying what now? So basically, the alternative rules will be available, but trust me, I see a situation where the rules will be accessible for people to pass. But when whether there will be protest, a whole lot of people are scared. Like the Lekki Phase 1 residents have made up their mind that let's shut the gate, let's not allow people to even move. So which means that people will have to change their plans relating to tomorrow. All right. Um, Roy, you get to have the last say, right? So obviously there are loads of security agents on ground. Uh, what should be done to ensure that the situation remains calm tomorrow when the protesters begin to protest? Well, um, the situation will always start calm. So when when to say it's going to remain calm, we'll be bothered around so many factors. And one of the factors to determine if the situation will remain calm tomorrow would be the determination for control by the government and control by the end side propagators. Because as Karabia has said, those people that are not part of it should be allowed to move. It's not a national vendetta. So those that are not part of it should be allowed to move. And the government itself should show the right body language. A body language that will be responding to a people that voted you into office. To a people that you owe governance to. To a people that you agree that the first, the first lineage was an abuse on their fundamental human rights. So we expect to see ambulances from the government to attend to medical situations. We, we expect to see the police having a mediation and conciliation attitude rather than approaching the people with a violent um, disposition. Right. So we expect a lot to happen tomorrow. And in all of this, we'll give God praise. And that is a safe place to land. It's definitely a safe place to land. Thank you. Gentlemen, so we have been talking about the planned train protest at the Lekki toll gate, which is built to take place on Saturday here in Lagos. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.